you the story of City Council. My name is Mary Yang, about 12. Um, I just, I want to talk about so much, and I'm also just speechless about all the dilemmas facing our community. I just realized the thing I would like to put into the record is the unfortunate tragedy regarding the writer Salman Rushdie. Um, and what it should bring back home to us, I think, is that our lives are very fragile, they're very vulnerable. The freedom of speech that we cherish in our democracy, we should guard. I, as a writer, I have faced a backlash for tweets, for letters, letters to counselors. I've been characterized as a malicious blogger and various things. And I think the freedom of uh, democratic flow of information is an extremely powerful thing. I never read a complete work of his. I've read a portion of a novel and he's a brilliant writer. And I remember as a little, little kid thinking like, who is that guy? Like he sounds pretty avant-garde. And to live for so long with a death threat on your life for your courage of your convictions to speak your truth is something that could inspire anyone from any background. And I want everyone to be encouraged to speak their truth and fight for causes that they find moving. And I wish him a speedy recovery. And we should also uh, take as it a security perspective about anything could happen anywhere at any time. So any kind of emergency preparedness, um, safety and security in meetings, safety and security in the street, you never know when something very catastrophic could happen. And thank you to the first responders who were there for him and Viva Freedom of Speech.